Hi, my loves. Welcome back to the Stars Cartel channel. If you don't know, I am Star. Okay, welcome if you are new. Um, welcome back if you are already subscribed. I miss you, my love. Let's get into this message from God. Um, the message I heard is, it's none of your business. The scripture comes from Exodus 37, 1 through 9. Bezalel made the Ark of Archaea, Archaea wood, two and a half cubits long, a cubit and a half wide, and a cubit and a half high. He overlaid it with pure gold, both inside and out, and made a gold molding around it. He cast four gold rings for it and fastened them to its four feet, with two rings on one side and two rings on the other. Then he made poles of Achaia wood and overlaid them with gold. And he inserted the poles into the rings on the sides of the ark to carry it. He made the atonement cover of pure gold, two and a half cubits long and a cubit and a half wide. Then he made two cherubim out of hammer, hammered gold at the ends of the cover. He made one cherubim on one end and the second cherub on the other. At the two ends, he made them of one piece with the cover. The cherubim had their wings spread upward, overshadowing the cover with them. The cherubim faced each other, looking toward the cover. Okay, y'all. This is a message for someone you are. God has instructed you to do something for his kingdom. It is something you are creating um, regardless if you were asked to create something of this, like maybe you were asked to create a, um, what is it called? A, um, like a stadium, uh, something, it's something that God has asked you to create for his glory, for his kingdom. And there are people around you, or there may be people that see what you're doing and they're questioning you, like, what are you doing? Or why are you doing that? And, um, they're questioning your mental stability. They're questioning, um, like they, it's almost like they think you're not all the way there, but God says it's none of their business. You carry on with what he instructed you to do. It is not for them to figure out. Okay. It wasn't a three-way call. Okay. <laughs> it's what God is saying. Literally. It was not a comfort call. It was not a three-way call. God asked you to do this. It is not for everybody else to try to figure out what God has asked you to do, why God asked you to do it. It's none of their business, literally. It has nothing to do with them. And that is like the literal message. God is saying, I did not instruct them to come and ask you any of these questions. I did not ask them. I'm not confiding in them. God is not asking them um, for any advice on this. God asked you to do it. And that is it, okay? God is not asking you to go to anybody and ask them what color it should be. God is not going to you asking you to ask them for help or anything like that. Whenever God gives us uh, instructions to do something, it is literally typically something that we can do on our own. If it is not something that we can do on our own, God will send us the help that we need. And the help that we need is not gonna come asking correct questions are trying to make us out to be crazy. All the birds chirping, y'all, okay? But the person, they're not going to come trying to ask us questions. Uh, what are you doing? Why are you doing that? No, they're not going to do none of that. The people that God's seeing, they're going to already know. they it's, they already going to be up on game on what God has asked you to do. They are... If they are not up on game on what God has asked you to do, they're going to have a pure heart in which they're not going to make you out to be crazy. They're not going to be questioning you and trying to figure out why you're doing this and all these other peculiar questions, ridiculous questions. They are going to simply just be like, okay, what do you need me to do? Okay. And that is the message. And I hear God saying for somebody, the person that is meant to help you with this assignment is going to be your spouse. It's not going to be a random person. But, you know, and that's that, like the person that 
Yeah, for somebody, the only person that is going to help you with this is going to end up being your spouse. And that's going to be on down the line. I don't feel like it's going to happen immediately. Right now, you are the one that God asked to do this. It is something that you can do by yourself. You don't need any help. You don't need anybody questioning you. You don't need anybody's advice. God is the only person that you are to go to for advice on this situation. And if they keep trying to ask you why you're doing this and what you're doing it for, you can simply tell them it's none of their business. You don't even have to tell them that God instructed you to do this. You don't have to tell them nothing. Okay? You really don't. You don't have to give them any um, any reasons as to why you are doing what you are doing. You are your own person. And if you decide that you want to do something, you have all rights to do it. Okay? Um and that's simply like, that's it. it. Like, um, and the only other thing I hear God saying is nine out of 10, you have already had the green light to do whatever it is that God has asked you to do. You have already had any paperwork that needs to be filed, any permissions that needed to be done. It has already been done for whomever this is for. This is somebody, even if you do have to ask someone permission to do it, you already asked and they already gave you the okay. And if that person is okay with it, whoever this um, authoritative person is, then anybody else that's questioning you, that's wondering, that's laughing, that's giggling, that's trying to figure it out, they do not matter. God says that's it, okay? He has already put it up on the people heart that matter that it's okay, okay? And that's the message. And God is reminding me of the story um, of when they started building... Um, the temple for him, how uh, the king's men kept coming, trying to ask them, who gave you permits to build here? Who told you that it was okay? Who told you you could do this? Who told you you could do that? And they simply told them, God told us we could do this. And eventually, after they finished building it, the king himself checked it off as it was okay. And I'm saying this to say that um, everything has already been set in place for you. You don't need nobody permission. You don't have to ask them anything. You don't have to do what God told you to do and understand that God has already spoken to whomever needs to be spoken to about this situation. I feel like the people that are trying to inquire you on why you're doing what you're doing, they don't even matter. They they don't have no authority, no authority in this situation at all. Like they really just I feel like dry, okay? They dry asking questions. They dry worried about it. They dry concerning this. They dry worried about that. And um, in reality, it's none of their business, okay? And that's the message, y'all, okay? <sighs> Thank you guys for watching. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe. Deuces.